Hey guys, Balkan Architect here, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to model this cool-looking container ship home in Revit. Now, this is quite a new concept, and it's quite cool. They basically convert these shipping containers into actual affordable housing. And I thought it would be a cool topic to do in Revit. Now, you can either use a couple of these or even more to combine them to make a larger house, or for this project, I'm just going to be creating this small house with a 20-foot shipping container. Now, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm here in Revit, but I'm just going to minimize this for a second, and here you can see I have a bunch of families loaded in, and these are just the families that I'm going to be using for this tutorial, and the links to these will be in the description. So now I'm in Revit, and I'm just going to start a new architectural template project, and when this opens up, I'm just going to set the units to, meet, to centimeters. I think that's good for this project. And okay, so now first thing we need to do is we need to load our family in. So I'm just going to kind of move this out of the way, take this 20-foot shipping container and load it in. Now, because this is a newer version of Revit, it took a while to load in, but here we go. And here it is. Now I'm just going to go into 3D to see what we have. Now this is the actual family, you can select it, and now if you go here into edit type, and if you scroll down a bit, you can see we can actually change the doors from being closed to open, but I, I would like to, I would prefer to keep them closed. And here you can change the dimensions if you want, or you can even change the material, but I'm going to prefer to leave this, this as is. So I'm just going to hit OK, and here's our container ship, now we need to start converting it. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to set the height of my levels at the heights of this container. So I'm just going to go to South Elevation, select this, and then let's change this to, I don't know, like 310 centimeters. So I kind of have a, a bit of leeway over here. So if I go into measure and measure this, I have around 20 centimeters. And that's enough for the construction I want to have on top for the roof terrace. And the roof terrace is going to be a big part of this. So first I'm just going to do the stair leading to the roof terrace. So I'm going to go here to level 1 and let's create a stair. So I'm just going to go here to stair and just a regular stair assembly. Make sure the run width is 100 or maybe a bit smaller but I won't go too small. And then I'm just going to create something like this and then like this. Now I can kind of move this in place, so I'm just going to align this over here. So align this to that, and align this to that. Okay, and then I'm just going to align this side over here to this run, basically beginning of the run. Okay, so I have some assemblies, stair assembly here, so I'm just going to hit check, go into 3D and see what we have. So I can delete this railing, I don't need it over here, and this railing I'm going to change to pipe because I think it looks a bit better. Okay, so let's just turn on the materials or turn on the realistic graphic display options to see the actual color and let's just move this into wood and I would prefer not to have this riser, I would like to have that empty, so I'm going to eliminate that as well. So just select the stair, go into edit type and here for the riser I'm going to turn the riser off and for this material I'm going to be using a wood material so load this wood in, go OK, apply, OK and for this supports I would like to change the supports to wood as well. So wood, OK, OK, apply and the same thing here. OK, it automatically took wood. OK, go apply, OK and we're finished. So we have our kind of transparent staircase over here and it's made out of wood. So let's do the construction up top and then the construction in front for, for the garden over here and for the roof garden as well. So I'm going to go to level 2 for the roof garden and first thing I, I would like to do is I'm going to delete this for a second and now let's create kinda the construction and the actual paneling. So to do that I'm going to go here to floor and go edit type, duplicate the floor and let's create a wood floor. So this will be just kind of 5 centimeters of wood flooring, so I will use wood here, go OK, OK, 
okay and then I'll do the construction afterward so now you just use pick lines and you pick these lines over here that kind of capture everything so do this one here and this one here as well maybe move this to the outside yeah and then just by using trim and extend you trim and extend everything in place so you do that connect here okay this is all connected yeah that looks about all right so we're finished with this roof construction or the roof basically floor now we need to do the construction and for that i'm going to go here to insert and i'm just going to insert some a basically a beam so go to load family jump back go to metric find structural framing use wood and let's use this timber open it up let's choose perhaps this and now let's go into structure and use a beam system for our beams or you can use bs shortcut doesn't matter and now you need to kind of do the boundary so the boundary is basically the same as for this so you can just hit tab a couple of times and select it and then for the beam direction i'm just going to pick this line because i want beams going this way and for the fixed spacing i'm going to put this at 60 because i want it to be a bit tighter and here if we scroll, scroll down the beam type is this timber so now we go finish and you get something that looks like this now i'm just going to select everything go into filter check none then check just the framing tabs tags and go oops just the framing tags and then go apply okay and then just delete them so now if i go into 3d it looks kind of like that now i don't really like the look of this so i'm just going to select the whole the whole system and offset it by five centimeters as oops minus five centimeters as this is five centimeters now that looks a lot better and now let's make this a bit thinner i don't want it to be this wide so i'm just going to select one beam and then go into edit type and change the width to eight centimeters and the the height to 15. go okay apply okay and this looks a lot better okay so let's do the same thing up here up front so let's go into level one and do the floor so just architecture floor rectangle and kind of do something like this and then just make sure to align it to the stair over here so just the align tool go finish and then I'm just going to do the same beam system so you go beam you pick lines you select everything beam direction let's leave it at this and leave it at 60 go finalize and for the elevation minus five centimeters apply okay and that looks that looks good okay so let's do the railing on top so i'm going to go to level two and here i'm going to go to architecture and then railing and then i'm just going to use this and go all the way around from this rail over here all the way to this part connect it here and finish it up over here okay so this looks good and if I go into 3d yeah that looks all right just I don't like this vertical things I like the pipe so I'm just going to choose the pipe and it connects to this perfectly okay so once this is done we need to do the hard part and that's poking holes through this container or shipping container and then creating some doors and windows so how do you do that so the first thing I like to do is I like to go into level one and then go into wall command. So just type in WA for wall and select this basic wall and go into edit type. And once you're here, just go into structure and change the thickness to one centimeter or something arbitrary, something really small. And for the material, go into and f uh, find the material called air. I'm having trouble typing air for some reason. Okay. And here, once you find air, you select it and you go OK. And you go OK, apply, OK, and finished. So now we have just a thin air wall. And why do we need this? We need something to host our windows and doors, but we don't want it to be visible into in renderings. So I'm just going to create this wall like this. And then step back into 3D to see what that looks like. And you can see it here. And I'm just going to select the whole wall and attach it to level 2. Okay, once this is completed, now we need to place our walls and doors. 
And when I do that, here I can go into door, place it perhaps here, like that, and then let's go with some windows. So let's use these larger ones perhaps. So place, I don't know, a couple here. And let's do, yeah, let's leave it at two windows. Doesn't really matter for this demonstration. Now, as you can see, these don't really poke holes in our container. So how do you fix that? Well, you actually have to play this basically a guessing game. So first you just select the door and you see the dimensions. So this is 915 by 2134. So you kind of have to type that down or write it down and you select the window and, to, and you see what are these dimensions. So this is one, this is 915 by 1220. So you need to remember these dimensions and then you need to select the container and you go into edit family. And you can't really edit it in place, that's the sad part. So you just go here to front elevation and then you go into void forms. You go void extrusion and you set the work plane to center front back because we're here at the front. So go that and then you create a couple of rectangles. So let's do one like this. And here for this height, you can see this is now in inches and feet and I don't really know these measurements. So I'm just going to go to units and set them to centimeters so I can work with them. Go OK. So now this should be at 213.4 and the width should be at 91.5. OK, this is the dimensions of the door. So I'm just going to move it a bit over here just by using the arrow keys. And then I'm going to select this and copy it because the width is actually the same for the windows and actually copy it one more time. And then perhaps move them in place here. And then for this height, just move it up a bit. And here for this, that was one, two, two. So place that. And then just by using the align tool, you kind of have to zoom in and align this to that and go finish. Okay, now you need to go into reference level and here let's just move this all the way here to the wall like that and then because it's not cutting the wall currently you just go cut, you select this and then you select your void and if we go into 3D that looks like this. Okay, so we have our window holes so we just go load into project, override and just wait for a second and there you go. Now you can see these don't really match so you need to kind of select the door and then using the arrow keys kind of nudge it in place. Do the same thing with the windows. So kind of select both of them, move them in place. Yeah then let's just move this one. Okay so this is Okay, so that's that for the windows and let's just add something a little bit here in front to make everything look more interesting. So I'm just going to go to these families and insert these. Let's use these three and then load them into Revit. And it takes a bit to override because it's saved in an earlier version of Revit. So I'm just going to go to level one like this and then let's go to insert import or basically just use component and then let's place a couple of these and then let's add a table in between and let's see what else do we have let's do the the shade here and I'm just going to place it over here because this is not really hosted on anything so I'm just going to go into 3d to see what this looks like so you just go into perhaps south elevation like this and then you bring it up to the actual height and position it like so and then you go to west elevation and you kind of bring it towards the wall so you just go align and place it like that now if we go into 3d it looks like that okay so here we have this cute little container house in Revit this is it for this tutorial thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day